Hey guys, it's Harlowood. Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a level 3A bulletproof vest from Bullet Safe. And we're actually going to test this by shooting it with every revolver I own. We're going to start with 22 long rifle. We're going to work our way up to 44 Magnum. And if it withstands all that, I'm going to hit it with a 2200 feet per second 22 Win Mag. And you know, speed is the enemy of armor, so we'll see if the 22 Win Mag is able to go through this. Let's give you some of the specs on this thing though. It comes in several different sizes. So if you can see, for example, the one you see here is the 2X size. So it comes from extra small all the way up to 4X. I'm gonna put a diagram up on the screen right here and show you the size chart. So you can take your height and your weight and you can kind of line them up and see which one might be right for you. Now, as you can see right here, these are made in the US and they are NIJ certified. Let me explain that for a second. So NIJ is the one that sets all the standards for what these must be able to resist in order to receive the certification. You will see a lot of body armor and plates out there that say meets NIJ standards. That's not necessarily the same as NIJ certified. They actually sent these in, they got them tested and they got them certified, okay? And you can read all that on the website. If you're in the market and you're shopping for body armor and it just says that it meets NIJ standards, Mm, I don't know, man. Now the 2X, as you see it right here, weighs just a little over 5.3 pounds. Each of them weighs a little bit more, a little bit less. For example, the extra small is going to weigh less than five pounds. And the nice thing that I like about these is they also have a plate pocket. So if you wanted to put a set of level three or level three plus or even level four plates in here, you would have that added protection option. And that's also true on the back. There's a plate pocket on the rear as well. All right, let's go get this set up down range and see how it does. Oh, and I've been wearing one the whole time. So as you can see, it's pretty inconspicuous under just a light hoodie. All right, here you can see it without the hoodie in the way. For frame of reference, I am six foot tall, 230 pounds. This is the 2X. And in all honesty, I probably should have went with the XL. This one's just a tad big. And if I had paid attention to that chart, it would have steered me right, okay? Uh, you can see it has eight points of attachment. There's Velcro on the front and the back of each shoulder, as well as on the front and back for your sides. Getting out of it's pretty simple. Literally, you can pop one side off, come up out of it. Sorry, just making sure I'm not gonna tear the mic off. Really, really easy to get in and out of. And for those of you who wanna see the inside, it's got this breathable mesh liner. All right, enough talking, let's go shoot it. All right, hopefully you can see that on camera. Now, it's worth noting, NIJ standards are only for a piece of armor to withstand a single shot in order to get the NIJ certification. We're gonna shoot this way more than what would qualify for an NIJ standard. We're gonna do a 22 long rifle first, a 38 special, a 357 Magnum. We're gonna do a 45, I do have a 45 ACP revolver. 44 Magnum, which is technically the maximum that this should be able to withstand. And if it withstands all of that, which it should, we're gonna hit it with the 22 Win Mag, which is going 2,200 feet per second. Here we go. All right, up first, as Plinkster likes to say, the 22 long LR Stangers. Nope, no penetration. Up next, 130 grain, 38 special. No penetration, knock the staples out of our target. 158 grain, 357 magnum. <laughs> A lot more kick. But no penetration. And I forgot to mention, all the revolvers that you're seeing today are my father's. So he passed away about two years ago, two and a half years ago at this point, and um, left me all of these guns. So everything you're seeing today is for you, Dad. All right, now this is a slow bullet, but it should be a fun one. Who recognizes what that is? That is a black talon. And those of you who grew up in the 80s, these had a very unique name for them. I'm not gonna say them right here on the channel. Here we go. The black talon 45 ACP. Ooh, got a push to it. No penetration. You can see the cardboard? It's breaking the A, B, C zones apart, but there is no penetration. But at 357 and the 45, hit that pretty hard. Now we're gonna go to a 240 grain jacketed soft point, 44 Magnum, 1300 feet per second. Technically, this is the maximum that this is rated for. 
Ooh. <laughs> that shook the screws loose. There is no penetration. Hold on, I'm, we're gonna do this in real time. Now it is deformed all to hell, but look at that. There is nothing that has gone through this whatsoever. That rear mesh is still in perfect condition. All right, now you would, man, if you were wearing that when that hit, it didn't go through, but that is just the pressure where that bullet captured in all of that material and punched this in the back, man, look at that. But there are no actual bullet holes through it. That's just a tear. So we're gonna hit it right about here with that 22 Win Mag. Remington Premier Magnum Rim Fire. These are 33 grain traveling, I think 2,200 feet per second is what I read on the website. And they do not have a hollow point. So this is probably gonna have the best chance of getting through this. All right, here we go. Ooh, right there. Nope, didn't go through, hold on. No new holes. Look at that, nothing went through there, man. Golly, I was nervous on that one. I thought 2,200 feet per second. Ooh, I can feel bullets in here, hold on. Ah. Ah, I'm gonna have to cut that all apart, but it caught him, man. That is crazy. All right, there we go. All right, now, if I'm honest, I debated at first just doing 44 Magnum, showing you that it stopped that and calling it quits because that's the maximum that it's rated for. I took a risk in putting all this other damage into it, then hitting it with its max, then putting a 22 Win Mag through it, and it stopped all of that. So I was very nervous that I was gonna mess this test up. Luckily, I did. This thing really, really held up. So this is the VP3 from Bullet Safe. It's about $299 at the time of filming this video. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Highly impressed with that, super cool. If you guys like this kind of content, do me a favor, give it a like down below. It helps my videos show up in more of the search algorithms. Lots more content like this to come, and I'll see you in the next one.